Welcome to the press conference for the launch of the Global Financial Stability Report. Deputy Director of the Monetary... Our key message is that this is no time for complacency. Action is required now because vulnerabilities are building. These vulnerabilities could put growth at risk in the future. Closes the balance sheets to increase credit, maturity, and capital liquidity and resolution is making the core banking system much more resilient and much more stable. At the same time, there are uh, there might be some unintended consequences of those regulations, and internationally, regulators are starting to evaluate, uh, you know, the impacts of the regulatory reforms uh, on uh, credit supply and and liquidity to, by, to historical standards. From a financial stability point of view, the key question we do feel that the current stance of monetary policy in the major uh, economies is appropriate. Uh, in the U.S., uh, the euro area, and Japan, inflation remains below target. And uh, in, in some of those economies, uh, there are some other signs of slack. So that accommodative, further accommodative monetary policy is the right stance. Of course, as we're pointing out in the Global Financial Stability Report, this accommodative stance of monetary policy is also fueling uh, reaching for yield. And um, our recommendation is to use macroprudential policy tools to address the buildup of vulnerabilities. Investors are paying to hold interest rate risks. So Regulators in China have taken a number of measures in the past 12 months uh, with better coordination across agencies to address many of these risks. And this is very welcome because it's had a significant impact on slowing down some of the uh, shadow banking growth and reduced reliance on wholesale funding. But these vulnerabilities overall will be difficult to address without slower credit growth. This wraps up our press conference today. Thank you very much.